Okay, so I literally just activated my trial, uh, my free trial on sellbright.com, which is a multi channel uh, e commerce selling platform. So I can sell my products on not just one platform, but very easily um, use the, uh, the platform like Sellbright to kind of distribute it out to multiple platforms so that I can get maximum reach, such as Shopify, Amazon, and so on and so forth. So what I'm seeing right here, I'm just going to walk through literally seeing, checking out everything that happens. I just signed up and it just actually put in my credit card and now I'm in here. Okay. Now, obviously up here, it says that I can, I have 14 days to basically publish, you know, 25 listings. Okay. Uh, if I click on here, it basically says, uh, show setup guide, view upcoming webinars, which is kind of cool, which means that I can, they probably, it looks like they have webinars that I can learn stuff from, learn about one-on-one -on -one boarding, onboarding. Uh, let's see, let's show setup guide. Um, is it going to show me anything? Okay, that's, that's super helpful. <laughs> um, view upcoming webinars pops me into a new list here. Cool. So there's a webinar here and it tells me the dates uh, and the times. Uh, tomorrow, today's Thursday, so tomorrow's Friday, Monday, Sellbrite overview and product demo. Great. So I could just register there. Let's go back to the main screen. So this is the dashboard and right from the get go, it tells me where you sell. So I can click on connect your channels and it says get started. And so if I get started, I can choose from the different shopping carts. Big Commerce, Shopify, WooCommerce. Uh, that's cool. Um, the, the interesting thing is my shopping cart is on here. I actually use Thrivecart, um, and that's not on here. And Samcart isn't on here either. I don't know if those count as shopping carts, but they're pretty popular, but they're not on here. Marketplaces, Amazon, eBay, Etsy, Jet, Newegg, Rakuten, Sears, and Walmart. So that's kind of cool. So that means I can basically take the products I want to sell based on my shopping carts. I guess I'd have to be on Shopify maybe. Um, or I could choose those. Let's see. Let's click on that. Huh. Okay, cool. Then that basically is about connecting my account. I click on Amazon's connecting that account. So what this looks like is I have to have a pre-existing account on each of these platforms and all sellbright.com does is kind of like consolidate it and bring it all together. Okay. Um, so let's just well, I can't even go forward unless I connect my account. So, okay, let's go ahead out of that. And once I connect all my channels, then um, I take the products that I have from all those channels. Or no, I add products onto there so I could click on that and then I'm ready to sell. So that really kind of depends on, it all starts with me connecting my channels. Okay, let's see what else is here. We've got total sales on a dashboard, which is kind of cool, consolidates all of that. So you can see the sales in total. Um, I can create my first listing here, enable inventory sync, um, create my listings, click here. Uh, let's see, here's a sample product. That's kind of cool. You sit here and you go to product description. Here's a product info. I could categorize it. Seems like there's a lot that I can do here. The SKU and everything, descriptions and images. List product on a particular channel. So I can pick and choose it look like on what channel I can put it in. Okay, going back to the dashboard, let's see here what else we've got going on. Uh, enable inventory sync. What is that? Um, enable. Okay. And it takes me to another screen where I can look at important information in inventory sync. Settings very powerful. Allows you to make changes to a product's quantity in Sellbrite. Then Sellbrite will automatically push the quantity out to any existing listings on your sales channel. That's cool. So that way I don't have to go to each and every single platform and sales channel to make the changes if something changes on the main inventory. So this one syncs all the inventories to make it work. So this is a step by step here. I'll go back through this later, but that seems like a cool little feature. All right, let's go back to. Okay, so here are all the products. Go back to the dashboard again. Um, fulfill an order. Okay, so I guess if I go start here, I have no orders yet. There's a video that obviously tells me how to do all this. Um, okay, so. The, okay, well that's cool. Um, so there's that. And then let's go back to the dashboard again. 
uh, total orders in one day, seven days, 30 days, um, 30 days. In the last 30 days, I made $292. So this is cool. I get on a trial and for, oh, I'm already making money. No, I'm kidding. Um, seven days. So that's kind of cool. So you can kind of see and track all your money, which is really uber important. I mean, one of the most important things about doing things, selling things online is that being able to keep track accurately of your sales to see whether or not a product is worth selling, every, whether or not your, your, your shop is even worth selling. Uh, announcements over here. Okay. Uh, I guess it keeps us up to date on things. Some merchants may be experiencing slowness. We are actively investigating delay. That's cool. So, okay, good. Um, so that way, if anything happens, I could check here to see if there are any problems with what's going on or keep me posted on things. eBay issue has been resolved. I guess if I was having eBay issues, that would be that. That'd be the case. We have the resource guide here. We've got the video library, help center, support, gifts and goodies. Send your care packages to, like if you're having such a good time, if you're enjoying yourself so much that you want to send gift and goodies to Cellbrite, you can do that. And they're in Pasadena, California, which is where I am. I'm in California, just not in Pasadena. Okay, so they, we have total orders here. We have top five products here. So this is actually Uber super super helpful because this way i can see on all platforms in its totality i'm assuming that it can tell me you know what is the top selling stuff so that i can decide whether or not to push or promote one product over another and see what's you know making the most sales total listing sample on amazon sample ebay okay so i'm assuming that this is just showing total listings in each of these platforms. So how many, okay, how many things are listed? I'm assuming it's like 5,243 active listings, 4,000. Okay, so that also tells me like if I was to break it down, uh, depending on the sales, where I'm getting the most bang for the buck, depending on the listings, number of listings. Uh, total products, products with active listings, 5,018 products with active listings. Okay, cool. So over here, I can look at all the products that are available. Um, and it's, it looks like it's taking me through a little uh, tutorial, list products on channel. And then where you're selling, see where your products are currently selling. Cool. So like, you know, most other platforms, they want to make sure that you understand everything. So it's cool. I, I like how sellbright.com um, makes it make sure that you actually know what everything is or br at least brings attention to it. You know, I'm kind of like of the ilk of the old school. Like I'm just going to plug, plug around like I'm doing right now to f see what everything is. But for those that don't want to do that and just want to go through and be guided through on how to best use it, this is probably pretty user friendly and quite frankly would be newbie friendly. Um, let's see. Okay, cool. So there's that. And let's look at inventory. So we already saw all of that, but now this time by going through the menu, it's activating the tutorials. So view what this is, got it. Quick edit, modify your on-hand stock, got it. Uh, bulk edit, got it. Okay, and I think that's it. Okay, great. And it looks over here, it looks like over here I can search the inventory. I could search for tags depending how I tag my products. I could base it on conditions for those of those of you who sell used products or reconditioned or refurbished products. Um, that's helpful too, and depending on the category. So it all depends on how you set things up. So it feels like for Cellbrite to really kind of use it, you, you kind of have to have your own system of, of organization of your products that you're looking to sell. And um, and quite frankly, if you don't, then you know, you're know you probably needing to go back to e-commerce 101 and in terms of merchandise and selling your products properly. Okay, So listings, add your first channel. Again, these are the sales channels that they would that, that they were going to walk you through here. If you remember on the dashboard here, set up in three easy steps. If you don't want to follow the steps, looks like you could just do it, go directly to the, each section and then connect it accordingly. Okay. Um, okay, cool. So there's that. And let's look at orders. So this, I guess, shows us what orders have come through. Um, no shipments yet. Tells me shipments. Reports. Okay, cool. So we can click on report type, then enter the report criteria. So I'm wondering if they're going to show me any samples here. No. Okay, well, okay, cool. So let's go back to report. So sales by time period, which is good. Uh, if you want to do analysis, sales by SKU, which is also important, which is kind of like... Uh, Looking at depending on item by item, 
Um, and so that way we can see uh, based on the SKUs that actually have been sold, you know, which we should keep, which we should not keep. Low stock report. Oh, that's important. Last thing we want to do is promote and sell something. And if there's like nothing, um, oh, this is helpful so that you don't have to go through one by one. You can just take a look at, just take a look at report. Show SKUs and quantity less than, oh, and you can set on a, set it up so that you can um, quantity less than 10, for example, generate report. That would be everything. <laughs> I think because I haven't put on any products unless they're using dummy products. What is it generating? There's nothing to generate right now. Anyway, I'm not going to waste time doing that. But anyway, that's kind of cool. There's, there's a low stock report. Okay, cool. So I think, and I, don't, I can dismiss this so I don't fo have to follow this, but this is cool because what I like about this is that one, two, and three, you can follow that. That being said, for the sake of something like what I'm doing here, trying to explore, um, what if I want to add my products? But I guess there's a method to the madness here that if you don't select your channels first, then it's kind of pointless to do your products or link the listings and everything like that. So that's going to take some time. But uh, other than that, let's check a look at the settings. What's in here? Okay, so it even has, you know, um, what do you call... Uh, 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 what do you call it? Tutorials for the account settings section. We've got invite new users... Next, uh, set permissions. So if you have a team, which is kind of cool, you can assign them to uh, all have access to this. So if you're the owner, you don't want to be the only one that has access to this. You can actually assign users to that. Um, when you're ready to subscribe, go here to choose a plan. Oh, okay, that's for subscribe to Cellbrite. Um, add funds to the poster so you can purchase discounted shipping labels in Cellbrite. Oh. So that means that's I'm presupposing that you can actually purchase shipping labels via Cellbrite, which is helpful. That's convenient, all in one place. Uh, access settings for your sales channels or connect more channels. We would recommend using the Getting Started Guide on the dashboard. Very cool. I like how I mean it seems like there's a lot of stuff, but I like how they do have setup guides um, that you can just go to from the dashboard to just kind of get started. Um, Connect other services like ShipStation and enable FBA. Not sure what all that is. Connect your FedEx or UPS accounts. Very cool. All here. Uh, that's convenient, actually, because I don't have to leave the Cellbrite. If I connect my FedEx and UPS accounts, I don't have to go to a separate web page just to do it all in one location. Um, whether or not it's efficient or does everything correctly, that remains to be seen. Uh, add additional warehouse location for tracking inventory, shipping orders. Cool. You have multi if you have multiple warehouses, that's kind of helpful. Save commonly used channel options as presets to save time when creating listings. Oh, so these are templates. Oh, that's interesting. So if you have a ton of products and you have a ton of products that tend to follow a specific um a model of, of posting or listing. Um, it says only available for some channels. Presets will soon be deprecated and replaced with templates below. <laughs> okay, great. So this is basically an old thing. Uh, where are the templates below? Well, I guess, oh, listing templates and recipes. Okay, so I guess the presets are now going to be called listing templates. And I don't know why they left that. Uh, maybe because there's a lot of people have been on there. Uh, export your product inventory to CSV files. Good. That's great for creating physical reports. Uh, or offline reports, or you can store the reports offline so that, you know, so let's say you don't use Cellbrite anymore, you can keep the data uh, or the, the statistics. Um, import data enter from CSV files. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so you can import data from another platform so that you could, in case you're migrating to this platform, so you don't have to, like, say, oh, I have to start over and start tracking from when you start from Cellbrite. Create product strategy categories for your inventory in Cellbrite. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Create custom fields to store unique attributes for the types of product you sell. That's excellent because, you know, what if... Wait, what's happening here? What just happened? Oh, these are the reports. <laughs> okay, going back to settings. So I guess it was generating a report, generating nothing. It took that long to generate. So that's, that's interesting. There was nothing going on, and yet it took that long to generate. I wonder why that is. Anyway, so create custom fields to store unique attributes for the type. So what I was saying before I got interrupted by the report generating thing is that creating custom fields is super cool because, you know, 
a lot of these platforms out there don't allow you to do that. They just, they just assume that you're going to use your use their model and fit you know your nomenclature into their model of how you kind of want to um, design or sell your or, or list out your attributes. If something is Cellbrite, it sounds like if Cellbrite doesn't you know have the particular fields that you want and you need more, you can actually create more attributes for unique. Uh, things that aren't your normal attributes that you know most products have so that's always good to have that and then of course this is the new presets now called listing templates and recipes create and update listings quickly and effectively with from sellbar by saving commonly used settings and mapping this i think is going to be a huge time saver especially if you have a ton of products that follow kind of the same listing style you can create templates so it's just click click go so to save time and you know if you've ever been you know if you've been, has spent any other any time listing a ton of products in the world of e-commerce and going from platform to platform to platform having to do the grind of doing the same thing over and over again is kind of a pain and can kind of burn you out having these templates is going to be huge in, in, in that regard combine listing templates into a recipe that can be quickly applied L recipe combine listing templates into a recipe currently only available on some channels until presets are deprecated okay okay that's the same thing that the presets were saying so i'm curious about what that recipe is so that means you what i'm thinking is is you can take multiple templates put it together and create a recipe like a sequence maybe maybe what it's talking about the recipes is a sequence uh, i'm not quite sure so we'll have to see what happens oh, actually let me click on it and see what that is uh no temp template eligible channels Okay, well, that doesn't help. So I have to do all that before I do... Okay, fine, whatever. Um, API, so this is the API for Cellbrite, which I'm assuming is usable when you want to use uh, other platforms to communicate with Cellbrite. So I like the fact that they include this so you have that option. Or if you have a website and you want the website you know, to reflect or to com communicate directly with Cellbrite, um, you would use these APIs to do that. Okay, cool. And then here's my account info. All right, uh, let's see. So that's pretty much it. I think if I click on this is account info. Yeah, that's the same thing. Okay, and then log out, and that's pretty much it. So hopefully, uh, you enjoyed it as much as I have. Just kind of getting acquainted with the Cellbrite, and again, this is literally me just signing up for the trial. I haven't put anything on yet, and just wanted to explore and give you. Uh, immediate look without having putting anything on yet okay so hopefully that was helpful and uh, I look forward to uh, showing you other tutorials okay